Hey guys, this is Cody from Fungicopia, and today we're out looking for Porcini, King Bolette, uh, Sap Bun, also known as Boletus Edulis. And uh, you can see that the slugs have beaten the crap out of all these, but they are quite common in this area here. And we're in a hemlock balsam forest here. Look for this guy. So these are a little bit thinner stocked ones than normal, but uh, normally you get the big bulbous base on them. But you can see this one growing right out of the roots. That's conclusively growing with hemlock. So that's kind of cool. And uh, when you get them real young, the pores look white. And uh, you can see sometimes they're buried under the leaves. They're very pale in color when they're young. And then as they age, they tend to get a little darker. Ooh, that's a really nice one. Beautiful. So yeah, these are king bolettes and the season's just starting, so get on out and get your beautiful, beautiful, oh, look how big and meaty these are. They're actually perfect too, no bugs. Wicked. They go a little bit more yellow like that, you can see with age as they get fully developed. So that's pretty cool. Nice little hole here at this one tree. There's another, ooh. Okay, here, I'll show you this, guys. Check out the comparison here. So this is like a dark, sort of red cap King Bolet. And you can see like a tremendous difference. So this is a young set bun. You can see there, when I pull this out of the base, you can see that's another beautiful one right there. And they're growing right off the base of hemlock. These guys are a little bit tied in. Perfect, perfect buns. They get a little bit chewed up from the slugs, but that's that means nothing. It's just little chunks they've taken out of it. You can see this is a red crack bolet right next to the king bolet. So you can see they kind of look similar, but not really. Throw that one away. Keep the big boy. Ha! Wicked! That's a king bolet paradise, baby! Uh, here I've got something interesting to show you. Uh, this is a birch bolet. And they range in color. There's uh, grayish ones like this. There's light brown ones, red ones. Um, and then in the middle here, we've got a whole bunch of king bolets. So basically, you want to harvest your king bolets when they're this small. And actually, these ones even, even this small little tiny one here is actually full of bugs. See, it's just hollowed out. So even these perfect little ones that look gorgeous, uh, the first ones of the season are... are are no good. Here's a nice one. Oh, this one's still firm. You see the round button on it? That's great. That one's really nice. Oh yeah, and over here you can see this is a birch bullet here. A red birch birch bullet. So you got a red birch bullet here. You can tell by the scabers down the side. You got a gray birch bullet right here. All the scabers on the side. And then you've got all these king bullets growing in one area here. And these are all growing with aspen. This one's perfect. Oh, that one's beautiful. Okay, guys, so here we've got another Boletus edulis, uh, which is the king bolet. And we've got a growing with balsam and hemlock. So that's kind of cool. There's a couple big ones over there, and uh, it's the first sort of flush of the season, so you can see the slugs really just take a massive chunk out of them. But give you a close up view. The uh, pores will actually go from a nice, like, pale, sort of yellowish color to uh, like a deep ochre color with age, it's almost a light green. So that's kind of neat. So uh, here we got a nice young porcini. Uh, this is Boletus edulis and the king bolet. And you can see the beautiful reticulations on the side of it. That's an easy way to tell. And the cap color ranges. Um, here you can see even a little tiny button here. Um, sometimes you'll find them sort of a, a yellow color, like a pale yellow. They range from red to orange. This one's more of an orangey brown. And they go all the way to brown. So, let's see the little one here is a little more pale. But they're very meaty. They're extremely dense. They're beautiful. Like when you pick them, you can you can tell immediately you've got a King Bolette. And uh, this is probably, this one and Golden Chanterelles are probably the two most commercially sold mushrooms in the world. Everybody loves them. And it's definitely the most delicious uh, bolet. That's that's why it's called the king. 
you can see this one here, the bugs, the slugs have taken chunks right out of it, but it's still delicious meat and it's perfect quality. So you want to get them young because usually uh, the king bolets, if you get them a little bit older, they're usually just full of weevils. So this is the key time to sort of uh, to get out there and harvest them is right after the rain when they start popping. This is uh, August 27th. Um, this is about the time it starts. they start to pop in my area and there's only about a two week season of these. Uh, following the, the first sort of heavy rain in the late summer. So you really want to take advantage of these when you start seeing these. Get a full day in out there and pick as many as you can. Um, they're one of the most delicious mushrooms. Absolutely stunning. Let's see if I can get a good little bit of the reticulation there for you as you can see what I'm talking about. It looks like webbing. And that's a key feature with these guys. This is a nice firm button here. Perfect, aside from being attacked by slugs. So you can see the reticulation on this one's not the greatest. Um, pretty hard to see, but if you look at the... So this is the exact kind of king bullet you want to pick. It's very firm. cap is fully, uh, you can see they kind of flatten out the cap as they get bigger, but when you first find them they're just perfect little, they call them set buns because they actually do look like little buns. So, uh, you're going to find your king bolets growing with uh, birch, aspen, uh, hemlock and pine. Those are the four big ones. And occasionally you see them with oak, but uh, these guys grow a lot better with, see the green, they could go really deep sort of yellowish ochre colored uh, as they age. And none of these are really good. This one's alright. But you can see what a color change. But it's still pretty cool to find this many in one area. This is definitely a king paradise. You can see there. See when they get really old they go dark green like that. Bright colored is a good good place to be. That's decently young. And this little guy here. They're all chewed out these guys. They've all been bugged out but that is the King Bolet. And uh, you're going to find them at the end of the summer. Uh, usually you find them uh, right after the first sort of big summer, summer fall flip, uh, right after the biggest rain. Uh, you need at least a couple inches of rain before they start popping. They're not one that's going to come out after a little, a little tiny shower. Um, so here we've got the dark variety of King Bolet. These are the red to brown ones I was talking about. And these are growing with hemlock as well. And if you see over here, we're out for some nighttime picking right now. <laughs> we got a bunch. So you can see one of the lighter capped ones here versus the nice brown capped ones here. They're like a deep red brown. And these are the best king bolettes. These are wicked. Yeah, I'll show you. These are prime. Just beautiful. And so yeah, these are growing with hemlock. That one's no good. You see sometimes if the, what you do is you give them a squeeze and if they're squeezable like that, it's not a very good king bolet. It means it's full of weevils. If you squeeze it and it's firm, like very firm, then you know it's good. So here you can see a parasitic fungi that's infecting a king bolet. You see here it's normal on this side. And then you can see the white taking over. Kind of a yellowish color. That's a parasitic fungi. 